um, this is kind of a, a video on some vector geometry. I know I misspelled head, but um, if that makes you feel better, there we go. Um, and basically, yeah, you, you do it in a head to tail sort of fashion. Okay, so I'm going to draw two vectors right here. Okay. And I'm going to call it vector A. Okay, and this is how you'll just see this, one of these just written out somewhere. And here's um, and just randomly I'm just going to draw a vector B. Okay, what I what I what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna if I wanna add, let's say I wanna add A plus B. Okay? This is what I wanna do. Well, I have to take A and basically I have to stick the tail of B onto the head of A. But B still has to be pointing in this direction, okay? Um We'll, we'll go into the numbers and the math behind this, but when you draw a vector, um, that, that's, you want to assume that it's oriented and it's supposed to be pointing in this direction, okay? Because that's what vectors are. That's, that's, the, that's a single thing that, you know, makes a, a vector distinct from anything else, is it has a direction attached to it. So that's pretty much the most important thing. So. Let's go ahead and let's let's uh, redraw these as a plus b. Okay, so I have vector a, I have vector b. What what a plus b would end up looking like is it's going to be there's a. Notice how it's still in the same direction. I mean, you know, I just redrew it, I'm, but just assume it's right. And b, I'm going to do that head to tail thing. Okay, I'm, then I'm going to redraw it. Now the only thing I have to do next after uh, doing this head to tail thing is actually I need to go from the tail of my original vector which was A and I need to connect it to the uh, head of B. Okay, so I'm just going to go and I'm going to do that. Okay, let's just say, I, let's just say they met up at the end but you, uh, you hopefully you get the picture. And then this new vector is called vector A plus vector B. Okay, so that's uh, that's another uh, that that's just a basic um, addition operation on vectors. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is say I have vector W, and this is what vector W looks like right here. Okay, well, what would three times vector W look like? What would that look like? Well, here's what it would look like. Vector W Vector W Vector W. It would be vector W just three times as long. Okay, so so we're starting to kind of see how these things are, are, are going. Let's say let's say the wind was blowing at 30 miles an hour. Well, three times 30 miles an hour would be 40, or would be three times 40 miles an hour would be, um, one hundred and twenty miles an hour. <laughs> I got a little out of, my arithmetic wasn't really good right there. So, so there, there's another one. And we call this, we call that, Because C3 is just a scalar. Uh, w is a vector. So that's what you, we call that. Scalar multiplication. Okay? Alright. Now I got another uh, item right here. Here's vector V. Okay? What would negative uh, vector V look like? Well, it's going to look like that. It's just going to, it's going to have the same magnitude as the original vector, it's just going to be, its direction is going to be completely opposite from the first one, exactly the opposite. Okay, so let's, uh, let's say I had vector u, okay? 
Well, negative vector u would be pointing straight down. And, and notice it didn't matter. Um, I didn't have to draw it right next to it or anything like that. Um, this is also vector u. I'll make it a little bit longer. So, and that brings up even another important rule, okay? Say I have vector c, okay? And I have vector r, okay? Let's say they have the same magnitude and direction. All right, they, 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 have their, their, they have the same length and they're pointed in the same direction. Then we say that vector C is equal to vector R, okay? So that's, um, you know, that, that's, a, that's just a, a couple, couple things um, that you should know. So let's just go back over it real quick, okay? We, we saw that vectors add from head to tail, okay? And we, we combined them, and when we, our, our, when we did a geometric addition of vectors, um, we added them head to tail, and then we put, uh, we went from the tail of the original vector to the head of our final vector. Uh, we learned scalar multiplication that just you know, basically amplifies the magnitude by this scalar, which is three, okay? Just made it three times as long. Uh, we learned that the negative of a vector, it, it, it's the same magnitude, it's just got exactly the opposite direction. We saw that, it could be up, down, whatever. And we also said that, um, that C, vector C is equal to vector R if their magnitude and direction are the same, okay? So let's, let's take C and R here, one more thing. Here's C, okay, and here's R. And let's say I, I want to add, let's say I got vector Ooh, that's kind of a sloppy. That, this is vector t up here, okay? Well, I could also draw t down here, okay? t could also go down there, okay? So, t, I mean, th this vector that, that, that essentially connects these two parallel vectors together um, are also going to be parallel. So, um, just like if, if we switched it that way, we flipped it up way, you know, I can always rewrite T, okay? And it, if this doesn't make any sense, just kind of hold on because in the next video, um, we're gonna actually move some vectors around because you'll uh, be able to move vectors around and redraw them um, to, get, to get things done. So I'll see you in the next video and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna expand on this, okay? All right, great.